All right, Ryan, thank you. While this morning's game was the Big Ten opener, the matchup at Camp Randall was years in the making. NBC 15's Lindsey Branwall takes us to the field where the Badger-Hawkeye rivalry was reborn. Lindsey. Yes, quite the matchup, and while the Hawkeyes haven't been to the camp since 2009, we caught up with a few couples who deal with this fan rivalry every day. The storied rivalry showed its true colors nestled between burgers and bags. But beyond the pride, rivals high-fived and hugged. Live in harmony. But the best way red and yellow united today, Lane and Dan, Aline and Adam. No trash talk. The ladies are rooting for the Badgers, and the men, Hawkeye fans. And they're married. I went to the University of Iowa and graduated from there, so that makes me an Iowa fan, I guess. And I'm an alumni of Madison. Of course, today's game doesn't come in between until death do us part. No trash talk. No. No well. But of course, their Big Ten team is the best. Because the Hawkeyes aren't that good. Just want to point out that Barry Alvarez was a coach under Hayden Fry at Iowa. So was Brett Bielema. They're going to keep rooting for their own team. Hopefully okay. the Hawkeyes win. <laughs> Badger win. By each other's side. Now, as long as they're not playing Iowa, he roots for the Badgers. So we've come a long way. A fun fact for you, both of the couples that we talked to are from the Chicago, Illinois area. So Zach and you guys back there, something to chew on for you. Maybe it's that opposites attract or maybe it's just the area that allows these rivals to get along. But for now, reporting from Camp Randall, Lindsey Branwell, NBC 15 News.